Welcome up. What is back? Today we are here playing Victoria 3 and we are continuing our Armenia run. Last episode, we took pretty big swaths of East Borneo. And this is kind of what we did as a sort of productive thing for our episode. We also are still trying along to get, uh, you know, all of our interest groups powerful. Oh, I can't scroll. I can't. You can't see the, the clout of the intelligentsia. It is at 18 point. 6%, we are trying to get a bunch of 18% clouts in order to get all the bonuses while having them ha happy for these five interest groups, which accounts for 90% of the total clout. So this is kind of the goal of the run. Um, I've actually been having a ton of fun with this run, uh, with uh, it, a nice change of pace, with just trying to juggle the interest groups uh, such that this happens. Um, we also encountered an interesting situation that I'm not sure exactly what it is, but uh, we were able to take the trade unionists out of power. Um, I guess it's because new parties formed when we got the election pop, which allowed us to pull them out of government even though they won the last election. Now, this radical party, this block of the trade unionists, intel uh, industrialist intelligence, this is a strong block. They are gonna win the election. We are hoping to get outlawed dissent uh, before they win the election. And, you know, maybe we picked the wrong law. Maybe we should have been going for um, elected bureaucrats or racial segregation um, because we need to try and enact some of these laws that allow us to massage and control the clout in our country. Uh, because right now, what we need to do is we need to suppress the uh, trade unions. So for the time being, while the election's going on, we can suppress them and we're gonna try and get them, their authority down as much as we can, or their clout rather. And, uh, I mean, maybe we should even suppress the intelligentsia, because they're going to be back in government, but I don't think so. And we're also bolstering the industrialists. Let's actually stop bolstering the industrialists, though. I know we want to get... It's more important to get the industrialists to 18%, but I think we want to bolster the petite bourgeoisie. Uh, and hope we get a lucky tick here on Outlawed Descent. Uh, this is actually probably pretty important as far as luck goes. You can also see the clout of most of the groups... Um, that aren't blocked by the camera. The exception is the trade unionists, which is at 35%. So this is kind of the name of the game here. Uh, we are fighting a war, but we are going to be winning this. Except for that happened. That's annoying. I think we're still winning this war, but we lost control of their capital because the split fronts thing. Warfare is still not very good in Victoria 3, but that's okay. Um, we are notably fighting this war with France on our side, which is kind of good. We've been deficit spending for a while now. We want That's where we want to be, getting a lot of investment pool transfer. We are trying to solve, again, the input shortage problem of electricity again by boosting. I think we are boosting this all the way to 51 to have the max throughput bonus even though it's not fully employed at 27. The idea is is we are going to increase this throughput bonus all the way up to 50 and this will hopefully allow the building to be productive enough to solve the energy problem here. And we are doing kind of a similar thing over here or we will start doing that with the engines because the engines are an input for the energy and the engines are expensive and so we're trying to fix all these problems. Notably, I don't know if the game was patched to make this like a bit harder, but it has been harder for us. Well, we love the uprising actually. So why don't we do this here and we'll move this guy to deal with the uprising. But the uprising is great because now we'll have access to Congo land. Um, which was a bit of a, you know, it was a bit of an up in the air question. We'll actually just move this guy here to have the guaranteed guy there. Now that question's been answered, we are going to at least get Hero Land here, which will hopefully allow us to, you know, get some uh, rubber. We unfortunately couldn't declare war on the Congo to try and get into the upper area, which tends to have more rubber. Uh, and the reason why is because Russia would have supported against us, which uh, was not a war we could have won. Looks like, yeah, we need to get someone on this front, unfortunately. They are going to push back into Armenia, but will they be there in time? I don't know the answer to this question. Oh, they're just moving. Nope, they're not moving back. Ooh, we'll actually, this 27 guy who's going to Kierland, we'll move him here. And I think that this, 
Yeah. Yeah, yikes. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be uncomfortable when they start taking actual Armenian land. <sighs> bad day, bad day, bad day. This is not how we drew it up, as it were. Again, the front system is just very uh, frustrating. Our army's stronger, that's not the problem. We just get like outmaneuvered, I guess, is one word you can use for it. Oh, we just get totally owned, full occupied? Come on, dude. No way. It's <sighs> gonna be so much turmoil for a freaking stupid reason. Or so much devastation, yeah. Now we just come in and liberate everything super easily because our army's way stronger. Ooh, uh, it's just like... Ooh, this is lucky though. I was okay. We get we get the stretch of bad luck and then some good luck, I guess. We get outlawed descent. So now our suppressing and bolstering will be really powerful, which is exactly what we need. Let's try and get. Okay, let's see how mad the interest groups are. They're still pretty happy. I think we can just piss off only the intelligentsia here, and go uh, elected bureaucrats. But we really want to go racial segregation. Well, this only makes the intelligentsia bad as well. This will take them down. They'll still be plus 10 happy with us if we do national supremacy. So let's just go for it. And now they're completely cut off from any... Oh, no, wait. They still have... So they're still in touch with some supply. But now they have no supply, so we should just roll them through here. This is a silly, silly thing. Let's see about recruiting a general in uh, Anatolia, I suppose. Mm, don't really want to beef up the trade unionists at all. They are really strong. We are suppressing them, and this should help quite a bit. But they're about to win this election. There's no way they don't win the election in 15 days here, so we will have to make some hard choices once they win the election about uh, if we can keep If we can keep going for this law that we're going for right now. Our standard, oh, our standard living is pretty high. Ooh, we can be bolstering or suppressing someone. Our bad here. I guess we will. We're already bolstering them. Oh, that's right. We have more authority now. Okay, perfect. Um. We could start trying to bring the rural folk up to being happy, I guess. Or we can put in some consumption taxes. Services will make a ton of money. Let's do that. And then look to expand construction. Maybe turn in a bit of a corner here. You know, we are on our radar is expanding enough to go after Russia. And get independence from them. Okay, the Radical Party wins, the Fascist Party gets second. And so now, unfortunately, we're illegitimate. Can we possibly... Wow, why are you unacceptable, though? I don't understand. The ideology penalty because they hate each other? God. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna reset. Yeah, we're gonna try and move this guy to Hereland. I don't think he gets there in time. But I just, I wasn't focused on that. What we're gonna do is we're almost legitimate enough to pass laws. We are going to, that doesn't help any, but we are just going to decrease taxes a notch, which should just kick us just over the edge, where we can try and pass some laws here. And then we really need to be serious about 
we're still gonna ruin their cloud. But I think maybe we need to take the tax off that we just put on as well and use it to bolster the armed forces to try and make sure our cloud stays high. Actually, no, we don't long term, we don't want the armed forces bolsters, so let's stop bolstering them. Let's go with the tax. All right, we're gonna have to land there. That's unfortunate. That's we might actually lose our colony there, uh, which means we're gonna get bricked now. What is? Are you still occupying like little itty bitty thing? Let's put this guy on this front and have him deal with that, I guess. Because we don't want to generate too much turmoil. National supremacy. We are going for it. Hopefully this gets here in time to push. The clout of the trade unions is coming down. Industrialists are almost powerful again. That's going to be nice because we will get the uh, engines of progress. I think we are currently researching. Yeah, we are. We can immediately make use of it. Kind of expecting Egypt to give up pretty soon here. Our auto building is accounting for a lot of stuff. We do want to think about, so we are going to try and get out of Russia's grasp soon enough here. So I guess we kind of want to think, I think we have enough paper. We have... We have every type of industry. I think we have enough tools now. Make sure we have rails. We need some there. Trap is on. I think we turn on the ports. Oh, they already are on. I think we build another port. Ports are notably, I think, are run by clerks. So these do help the petite bourgeoisie, if I am not mistaken, on the PMs or who all they're employing. Ooh, what the hell? Yeah, we want the industrial port. But this import clerks and bureaucrats, laborers and machinists. So we are about to lose our free government reform. I think that's okay. We definitely want to suppress the trade unionists down, and we are getting in here and pushing back on Hiroland. And we get we have force on Syria, or sorry, on Egypt. And we get this little stretch of land. Let's make sure we are using all the PMs we want to be. We have shortages of everything. Did we get booted? No, we didn't. There's just local shortages then. you don't have access. Perfect. We'll build a port. Get you access. We do need to build up some stuff. I think we need to do a little bit more dyes here. And let's take a look at your infrastructure. Are you doing okay? You will be perfect. So we'll build a railway at the end of this. And let's look at the bottom left. Italy's not doing too hot either. Generals are getting moved. So I'm guessing they're getting moved to the Italian front. Yeah, they are. And so, why don't we navally invade here? Let's make sure, let's see who's here. It's not Vale Akrin, it's an affiliate. Okay. 
let's try and land them. Not sure our military, our navy is better than theirs. Oh, it should be. Wow, the AI has gotten a bit aggressive about deleting their navy. We're not building it. One of the two. Hero land's getting pushed pretty handily here. So we will be getting that as well. About to get our first tick of national supremacy. I don't think we want to come off this, so we're really hoping for some good tech. Um, continuing to suppress the trade unions, which is empowering all the other groups, which is nice. And the suppression is quite powerful now that we have outlawed dissent. The negative is, of course, decreased tech spread. But we will try and... We're trying to keep our literacy rate high so we get a nice amount of tech anyways. I suppose if we really wanted to keep it tr high, we could switch to from public schools to private schools, which our wealth is high enough that it will give more education access. However, we do want the assimilation to turn people into our na nationalism, so... Or our national identity. Oh man, so lucky we get that on the tick. Now the petite bourgeoisie is very happy with us, and they have become much more powerful just with that one tick, actually. If we like go in the overview, they've cranked up. The trade unions are coming down. We need to get the industrialists up a little bit, but we can actually stop bolstering these guys if we wanted. And instead bolster the industrialists, because we need to get them up. We could also suppress the armed forces. But since they're currently in the government, I don't think we want to do that. But now, is there anything else we want to pass right now that we would have a hard time passing? I don't think so. I don't think this is a mass conscription run. So now we would actually... Oh, and we still have our free government reform. We could actually... Could we do this? I think we have to turn off the fact that we're suppressing the trade unions, but we could do this. It's actually just... It's unacceptable either way. I think I'm going to keep the fascists in government for now. Well, yeah, I'm going to keep the fascists in government. That way I can suppress the trade unions. That is what's key here, I think. Russia is fighting Great Britain. So if there was a time to fight them, it would be now. They are amicable though, so... Let's get the tech. We need combustion engine. So this allows us to go... don't think we're going to turn that on, but I think we're going to turn on public motor carriages. And uh, the better PM for the derricks or whatever, for the rural... Oop. This one. And then we will also make sure the lead mines and those are auto-expanding. And then we'll unpause. Now we have the petite bourgeoisie, which is giving us low in interest rate. So, which is further facilitating the government, uh, negative spending. Welfare payments aren't too bad. Uh, in theory, we might even be able to go back to, uh, monarchy. In theory. I don't think I want to do it in practice. Um, oh, we lose a front here. That's unfortunate should close up here and then he should switch back very very quickly and he does all right now we got to think about where we want to expand industries let's find where we have the most peasants and figure something else out for them to do i think it might be here i guess we can you're really profitable so we'll just up you by 10. Kick a couple to the front of the queue. We'll pick that up. We will take a look around, play some whack-a-mole. Try and make sure 
I we're gonna put one down in Heroland because there's gonna be a bunch of stuff we can do in Heroland once we fully conquer it. Kind of all okay in these areas. Do want to go after Argentina at some point in time. Let's make sure we're establishing colonies. Yeah, we are growing a colony. Ooh. We could clap the United States here. I think we are strong enough. Oh, we can't join against them. Oh, we owe an obligation. Maybe they picked up our debt. I forgot about this. That's unfortunate. I think we're damaging relations with them. I know we are with Japan and they're improving relations. So we did out we did switch to national supremacy, so I'm curious to see how it looks like it's affecting that. I think our standard of living is high enough that we could still pull people pull pops, despite having a more uh, repressive type of thing. And we also mm, Let's see, are the radicals going up as a result of discrimination from our laws? Pretty big on discrimination. Unfulfilled political movements too. We're not going universal suffrage though, so. Discrimination is a factor. Not too big. We maybe wanted to go militarize police. We do need mass surveillance technology. Which would decrease radicals from discrimination, which we are going to be getting. We should be able to employ either way. Would you not uh, accept this? Wild. So we get all here then now, so we should be able to establish some new colonies. We'll do that. Electric railway is fantastic. We'll get to turn that on. And we can switch rail cars in logging camps, whaling, and the other ones. So let's do that. Don't like the chainsaws, PM. It just takes too much oil. And it only saves labor. It doesn't increase the wood output. Joining the scramble for Africa, hot diggity bang. Boring engines. Let's take the urban center throughput. Let's set these to auto expand. This guy too. And research a new tech. I think we wanted mass surveillance at some point. Where is mass surveillance? That's a tier 5 tech. Blah. We could go film. I mean, I guess going for this is decent if we think that we want to go after Russia, which maybe we do. Getting trench would be nice before we do that. Willie's gonna get enforced on, we're gonna get a fat, fat uh, income from that. Yeah, this is tanking. From decreases in standard of living is the biggest one. Low legitimacy is also really big. Which we cannot fix. There's not a way for us to make a legitimate looking government. Like, uh, or we could do this with then lower taxes. This will create some radicals itself, but I think uh, it is better for us to be able to suppress the trade unions. Man, they are really getting jacked down here. Oop, that's not a government. That's nothing at all. Uh, 
but the trade unions, they're also quite upset with us. We're not happy with this anymore. Is it, do they hate being suppressed? Okay, they don't like the outlawed dissent. And they're powerful and in opposition. And we have an unacceptable government. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it might be actually. Alright, we're gonna see our infamy level. Okay, it's almost zero. We're gonna expel China's diplomats. And the reason being is we want to take Beijing. Because we want the Forbidden City. Because we want this authority and legitimacy from having head of state and government. I'm not sure we can land them very easily. So we will also do that. To get a much bigger navy. We have some excess authority now, so I think we'll tax porcelain. Seems fine. Can afford more construction now. Again, we are looking to deficit spend and pay interest to our interest groups. Or sorry, so when we're paying interest, it goes to the owners of the buildings, which are industrialists, which is a group that we are having a hard time keeping uh, up at, like, their head above water. And so we kind of want to do this. Is that the U.S. getting clapped? It is. But... We can go after Beijing pretty soon here. I think. What's the power of their navy? Because that's going to largely inform our ability to land. Again, the AI has been changed to really not really deprioritize depri navy, which is fine with us. Trade unionist dies. The feminist dies. And yikes, this guy really, or gal, sorry, really not happy with us. Probably because they're a communist instead of a feminist. <clears throat> we do have total separation, which they like, but they dislike a lot of things. Did they oppose the recent change from to women's suffrage? Oh, they oppose it now. Yeah, that makes sense. Now that they're dead. It's a bit unfortunate. We would rather them be a feminist and have feminism in their ideology. It's unfortunate. Trade unionist clout is coming back down, though. So we kind of almost have the balance, uh, like, where we want it. We're actually going to stop bolster them and instead suppress the intelligentsia. Don't know why the intelligentsia picked up so much. Maybe it's just a bit of a power vacuum thing. I think maybe the audio of the music's too loud. No, it should be fine. We can lower it just a slight. This is something someone mentioned on my CK videos. Okay. We're gonna suppress the strike, because... We don't want... We already have poor laws and we have regulatory bodies. We don't want to do anything better for them, unfortunately. So we're going to suppress the strikes. That kind of sucks. Oh. We already broke the strike. Alright, we'll say they learned their lesson, and we get approval from the industrialist, which is nice. You know what I think we do, actually? Let's stop suppressing these guys now. And let's start trying to bring the rural folk up. Because this is the third group, or the last group we need. So we kind of have a nice little balance going on. So I think we can do this. 
We're running positive balance here? Insane. Tommy's- oh, it's because of this. I need to get my eyes checked. Alright. Hopefully that it will be nice. It is going to empower the landowners a little bit because that is incorporated territory. We're building farms. But the landowners has been super weak for some time now, so pretty okay with this development. It's coming up. It's all coming up. Although we're still in Russia's market. Kind of okay being in their market, but... Not sure how I feel about that. They're almost radicalizing, but that does give us the job creators bonus. From industrialists. We do need the industrialists a little bit more powerful for that to matter, but... Having this much authority really helping us, is helping us massage the uh, clout quite a bit. And yikes. Maybe we need to throttle this. If we raise taxes, will we still be in the same legitimacy tier? We will, just barely. Let's raise taxes. Kind of slow down this uh, gain here. Just a little bit. And also, we are hemorrhaging some money. Although, hmm, loyalists have really been kind of cranking down, and these have been cranking up. Big, being fired, discriminate, it's legitimacy. I, I kind of want a new political party block. Or to get a fascist event would be nice. The communists will want to join together, though. Which is nice, actually. Because we can put the other guys in government. Maybe we don't want to decrease, ta increase taxes here. Actually, let's not. Actually, I don't think we can afford to run negative 200k anyways. Okay. People really want uh, universal suffrage and it's really, really causing radicalism. <sighs> All right, so if we got universal suffrage, We would get rid of the penalty. You know what? I kind of think this would be fine, actually, because we're getting to the point where everyone can vote anyways. Because the... Oh, wait. The wealth threshold is 25. So all the middle strata can vote. And the... We actually kind of want the peasants to come on up anyways. Now, are these laborers? Does this include laborers? So these are trade unionists, but the trade unionists aren't much of a problem anymore. The clerks, the farmers are rural folk, laborers, trade unionists, machinists. I'm just worried about the trade unionists gaining too much power off this, but I think it'll be okay, actually. We will hemorrhage some authority, but we do need to get the peasants some power, so... And they really want this law. Hopefully this isn't shooting ourselves in the foot. This might be breaking the run. So let's just do brick run. Brick run. I don't think it will, but I'm not sure. And of course, this will pass very, very easily. And it gets rid of this rev attempt. And it makes everyone really happy, which actually fixes a whole bunch in our economy, because now all these guys are plus whatever um, and everyone's happy except for the rural folk who are going to become more powerful once this kicks in 
So maybe we just stop bolstering them. We'll see where they get kicked out at. And we'll just start bolstering here because we do want to get them over 18 for the max bonus. Uh, let's take a look here. In our infamy. Socialist demagogue. Don't like that. We do want to keep them under 10 and over 5 for the perfectly balanced, as all things should be, attempt here. Um, but we are going to want to go after Beijing. Let's see about declaring interests. We will throw one down here. We are making a ton of money, somehow. Actually, it's not even that big a... It's because it's off the back of the trade unionist bonus are, are so, so good. Um, they are starting to come up on power, though, so we will stop bolstering the intelligentsia, and we will... Or, sorry, stop suppressing. We will suppress the trade unions instead. And once this comes in, we will be able to declare war here. Now, what does our military look like compared to theirs? 2k... We can't just straight up brick them, actually. We're not strong enough to do that yet. We can do some stuff against the Ottomans, but I don't think it's uh, efficient. So why don't we get rid of this interest? Declare it in... Oh, no, we don't need it in Persia. Hmm. We might be able to do something over there. We do want to be spending more. But I don't want to increase stuff to... Oh, wait, we have a bunch of empty construction. This explains everything. Okay, so we are producing tea here, so let's get the a much bigger throughput bonus. that and here well what should we specialize in here we're already pretty built on the livestock could do that we are building silk in the capital these basically aren't employing anyone so we'll just get rid of them to make room for the silk anyways so we can maximize the throughput bonus. And this will, okay, they're not employing, but it will increase the throughput. Uh, France sides with France, good to see that. Nothing could be done about making that look better. I really don't like how the US is, oh, is this Tatswana getting? Maybe? No. We could puppet them, maybe. I didn't even see what the tech was. It was a society tech, I guess? I just clicked through it too fast. We can look through for any PMs. Other than chainsaws, which is terrible. Doop, do, 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 do. Let's get this over 51 for the max bonus. So this is 37. That should be it. Now you're gonna need 15 more infrastructures, so we'll need one of these. Do kinda wanna have a cotton place don't want to delete a whole bunch of farms just to get it, though. A cotton specializing place. 
Well, we can't do the wheat farms there. What is cars up to? Okay, so cars doesn't have a lot of these. They are fully employed, but why don't we, uh, oops. Sorry about your jobs. That'll be nice, I think. We'll get universal suffrage. The people who want wealth voting aren't important. Uh, the wealth voting is not really gating anyone. I think I think it's only gating the rural folk at this point. We just have to keep an eye on the trade unionist clout and the intelligentsia clout. But things are coming along nicely. We are really hoping for a little bit of a shakeup that can help us be legitimate because this is this uh, this is from the legitimacy of this pain here. Which is also why we wanted to go after Great Shing. You know what we could expand is the military, actually. As well. And let's make sure we have enough of these. Russia has a comparative advantage against us. Uh, which is why these places have no employment. But if we ever, like, lose contact with Russia, basically... We will have to care about that. Ooh, we can switch to motorized. We get universal suffrage. I think we might switch to motorized in the capital. Automobile. Ooh, we get electric. So electric engines was one of the things. Got it. And then we will... Switch these over to motorized. We don't have any localized opium. And let's see how the cloud just really shakes up. I think it should happen on the next Monday, right? Either that or next election. Industrialists are above 18 now, so they're, we've doubled the bonus, so we get... Paradox map? Why are you not powerful? What's going on? So you're powerful. Why is it now when the IGs are above 20% cloud? We have to stay on wealth voting then. That's the only way to do it, right? I will uh, pause I said this and try and see if I can Google this. Okay, so apparently the way it works uh, is they have to, if they dip below 18%, that's when it goes away, but they have to get above 18% to get powerful, which makes this juggling idea even harder because we have to get them above 20 and then keep them from going below 18. Which is... <laughs> so this industrialist won't become powerful until he gets above 20. So we're going to keep bolstering him until he gets powerful. And then we just have to watch this very closely, I guess. Oh my god. I'm so excited. This has made it so much harder, though. Um, you can do that, I think. We have electric rails. That's right. Don't think we have the electricity for them, though. 
but the Metropolitan Railway will give us We will take the engineers in Armenia becoming more loyalist, which is quite a lot of loyalists. Um, and we will get this power plant thing up much higher. And this one is already above 51, so it should employ, hopefully, to fulfill the demand. Hopefully. Running... yeah, we need more engines, which is why we're doing this. Let's do that. We need, we're trying to increase the economies of scale bonus so the place is profitable. I guess maybe we should build building with cars in a different place. It's sweet about switching over. I forgot we also have electric engines here. are going to employ pretty rapidly here. This is a better PM. So we'll just click it and forget it. And man, okay, we got to... So I'm guessing we're going to have to suppress soon uh, the armed forces. So... We really need another election as well. All right, what is our... Uh, can we fight Great Shing? Probably not. We're not that far off of being able to fight them though. So I guess if we just decided we want to turn the corner in terms of our military size, which we kind of do. Or let's not build it up there. Build it up in cars instead. Labor is cheaper in cars, I think. Alright, let's build up a little bit here. Do have a large amount of infamy, infamy we can accrue. have to be so careful when we're doing stuff now because we're getting kind of close once the next election comes through it's gonna shake things up a bit and we're so close to having five of uh, four interest groups powerful the industrialists aren't happy with us though Because of this business. Hmm. I think we could afford this guy. Keep an eye on the clout. Trade unions coming up a little bit too much, maybe. I think we're suppressing them, though. Which we are. Hmm. Maybe we go after the Shogunate first? Let's open their market. Always a good one opening their market. Loyalist event is helping us out. Almost powerful with the industrialists. It's like Thanos, we're collecting all the 
all the stones. There's six stones, right? They're almost all the right colors. Can't remember if there's an orange stone or not. I don't think so. Austria. Might have ourselves a big in here. Take society tax spread. So we can no longer convince them, but I think we can convince. We can't, unfortunately, can't convince anyone adjacent to Austria. That would be ideal. We could offer France an obligation. We got to take something big off of Austria then for that to be worth it. Transferring Iraq wouldn't be terrible. I don't know what their I think their relationship is they're just in the market. Oh, they are a protectorate. That's kind of big. Not very much infamy too, so it's kind of consistent with our plans and there's a ton of oil in Iraq, so I like that. And we'll offer them an obligation. I think we gotta look up... Forget exactly how to get inside the menu we want to get inside. With this, no. See, we know where they're traveling to, but we don't know where they're from. But I think if we use the lens, we can do this. Right. He's not that good. Yeah, I think he's the best. He's hated though. Hated. Become more popular with the war. Ooh, politician dies, this is always a big deal now. Except when they're from the church. Industrialists are powerful, so... We have... I'm just taking a little snapshot of this. We have four powerful IGs. 
It's beautiful. So now we just gotta make sure that they stay high enough. So we're gonna stop bolstering, we're gonna stop suppressing them. We're gonna suppress the armed forces, which is going to make our government not acceptable. And then we are going to boost. Actually, let's boost these guys and suppress what little's left of the church. Because we do want to suppress the armed forces, but we'll suppress the church down lower first. Try and make sure we preserve this power. Oh, we forgot to ask war reps off of, whatever, off of Austria. It's kind of a little bit of a big mistake, but we're not trying to min-max anything too crazy in this run, so we'll let it slide. Try this guy. A little landing. A little landing. We have to watch this so close because we can't let this <laughs> we can't let this guy dip below 18%. Um I guess if he gets to 19% we gotta we'll switch things up. He is dripping though. Down. We're losing the battle against this? What? Maybe needed a bigger military. Um, let's see how our economy is doing. We, of course, uh, haven't been the most tentative. Or, uh, attentive, rather. Quite tentative. We have infinite infrastructure in, uh, here. So what we might do is we might delete some of these rails. Because we now have 100% throughput bonus from Electrified. Which, of course, is going to make people mad because they're getting fired, but... We'll bring down the price of wages here. And uh, enough people got fired that they got mad. <laughs> or we generated enough radicals, I guess? Why are you so mad? Oh, the very quick swap to universal suffrage? Yeah, fair enough, my guy. I feel you. That's not good. Do they have a really strong navy? What's this about? That is a very strong navy, yep. That will do it. That is going to make it difficult to enforce on them. I did not realize that. <laughs> Uh, we should perhaps... Well, the problem is we can't build a bigger navy here. I think we already maxed out the naval... Oh, we didn't max out the naval base, so let's do that now. Well, we are pushing here, so... That's something. I don't think we're gonna get the landing against them, though. Oh, well, we're beating them up here. Better PMs.
think all these are on auto expand. We definitely don't want to have a steel shortage, so we can just do some of this action here. I think. I think that'll be fine. We're pushing them here. We're about to win this. And maybe, maybe, maybe get a landing. Is that a rev against Austria? Maybe we can bleed him down. Let's take a look at our institutions, it's been a while. We have a lot of stuff maxed out, why don't we up this a little bit? We, of course, the institutions are so cheap with the bureaucrats, both being in power and being happy. Standard living's coming up. I think that's a lot of that's on the back of uh, us forcing these guys to switch jobs. Man, it's so ugly to see these shortages on the electricity. You just like can't employ. Engines are expensive. I mean, let's try for it, I guess. We're not going to switch them to publicly traded so that they stay more profitable. Nope, we couldn't manage the landing. That's unfortunate. Um, is part of Istria rebelling? Oh my god, clouds please. So it might be easier to land Istria. We might just have to be sad and not get what we wanted. Uh, and just... Enforce on Japan faster. By taking their capital here. Expand construction a little bit. Slow and steady. This is now to below 19. So we will stop suppressing them. It looks like we will start bolstering them. To make sure we keep them above 18, because they're 18.9 right now. They're not even all happy with us, though. They're actually, <laughs> they're angry with us. Angy. Yeah, I didn't like the law change. Yeah, that's fair, my guy. I mean, it was getting to the point where the Pops had so much wealth anyways that it wasn't going to really do too much. If we promote this admirable, will we have a problem? I don't think so. He's gonna add to political strength of the intelligentsia, whom we might need to suppress. This is also doing nothing, so we're gonna suppress the intelligentsia now. Gotta keep an eye on the fascists, because they're now below 20. Oh, this is like so tense now, trying to juggle these, uh, interest groups. I gotta get a lot more things up here, or just move my camera. Why don't we just move the camera? Somewhere. Yeah, 
let's just move it to the bottom right now. So you can see what I'm saying. Cause this, these notifications aren't a super big deal anyway. Not anymore. We did get a landing and it is going fantastically. Basically we win the war now. Power of the landing. Manufacturing tax income, big oof. Not too bad actually. <laughs> Just slowly balancing everything out. I think we're going to have a wild change next election, though, because uh, the I don't think it's cal calculating the rural folks uh, clout that they should have now that we've swapped to universal suffrage, which is why potentially the run is still bricked, but we move this guy over here. we had greater caucuses just so we could have more navy in the caucuses uh, group practically speaking at least industrialists are up back up to 19% or I guess they're down to 19. Yikes. Uh, suppress is definitely stronger than bolster with our current system. We do want to switch over to militarized police. We need mass surveillance. We can't get that yet. Should tick down pretty quick. God, this problem's just been like forever to solve. I mean, we haven't been trying super, super hard to solve it, so can only blame it. Can only blame too, too much regarding like the constant shortages. Uh, but Also can't subsidize buildings. I think there's been a patch though that is, that is driving this. It might be because we're inside Russia's market and they're doing something weird. But we can't make the electricity and we can't make the engines to make the electricity. I guess we could try like to import stuff to make the, the inputs cheaper. I mean, we can, yeah, we can expand this all the way as well. So this would be up at 45, 51 now. We'll not need any rails for a while. Do they slough us off or is it our, man, our occupation color is the most insufferable thing, shade, because I, it doesn't look like anything. Oh, because we're in, like, lines. Nope, yeah, we have the capital pretty firmly. Really curious once you finish, though, how things will look. Because, of course, it will increase the throughput bonus by 14%, so all of these buildings will be producing more, even with the same employment. Our 
interest groups are doing okay. Petite bourgeoisie is at 19.7%. Very excited to see when the rural folk pop off. I think these guys capitulate soon, and then we will just have too hard a time, I think, generating... Ooh, did these guys... What? Sardinia Piedmont? Austria just gave up. They're like, this war we're fighting is too big. Are they spending... Are they hemorrhaging money? They've spent triple the cost on the war. Oh, but Austria has not... Japan has. Well, we move the bigger guy here. Yep, so they open the market. Hallelujah. And then... Let's try navally evading you again. I don't think this works. We want to take Isaac, but we can't. Take Vahe, Villain... Or some mats. Promote him, I guess. I don't think this naval invasion works. What's it gonna cost to make peace? Oh, they're almost willing to accept this because they have huge loans. Okay, let's do it. We get our rack transferred to us. They are now our protectorate. So we will start damaging relations so we can vassalize them. Yay! Maybe we want to go after Russia sometime soonish. Now that we have this actual jacked up military, or kind of jacked up. Uh, we get an election coming in too. Oop, we have been playing a while. And the industrialists get crushed uh, in terms of their clout. They dip too low. Unfortunate, the fascists gain quite a lot of power here. I don't really want to suppress them down anymore, these guys, so what we will do is we'll stop suppressing them and we will bolster the rural folk. So maybe we just have to keep the rural folk bolstered this whole time. But now the fascist party probably wins here, and our government is legitimate, so we are going to be gaining loyalists. Now that this change happened. Hopefully the Communist Party doesn't win. Who's winning right now? It is the Communist Party. That's not exactly what we want. The intelligence is kind of where we want, so we'll just hurt their party mo movement momentum. See, we keep on trying to like make more iron. The problem is, is I think that Russia is exporting the iron. Which is, of course, creating a problem for us. I 
We have a ton of excess infrastructure still in Armenia. We don't really want to delete the rails because we need them eventually, but we can just kick everything up to the 51. So this is 43, 45, 1, 2, 3. This is 1, 2, buckle my shoe. Now the petite bourgeoisie is too strong about. We could just reform the government. We're not suppressing the trade unions now, so we'll do, we can do this if we wanted. There's no real laws that we want to pass because we can't go uh, militarize police yet. But we are well set up to do it. Question is, is do we still want to go? Mm. Kind of want to go film now, actually. Let's do it. I don't think, I don't think we necessarily even want to fight Russia. I mean, this is something we're preparing to do, but we're gonna wait until the end of. The Actually, we've been going such a long time. I think I'm going to call it an episode here. Ooh, uh... We do not want this event. We are hoping for the fascism one. Damn, this sucks. Uh. <sighs> I don't want wage subsidies. Really don't. I don't want them getting more interest group pop traction though. I guess we just have to do this and we're gonna eat it for the next little bit in terms of trying to do this balance. Uh, but I will call it an episode here. We have done quite a little bit of balancing. We managed to have four interest groups powerful at the same time, which is uh, not quite uh, the five that we want, but we also discovered uh, that we have to keep the interest group from falling below 18%, but they only activate at 20%, so we will actually, towards the end of this, have to juggle super precisely in order to have five interest groups powerful, happy with us, and also have the armed forces uh, not be marginalized. So this will be a tough ask uh, in its entirety, but we'll see if we can do it. Um, yeah, there's only one more law we want to change. Um, I guess it's possible you might want to go Council Republic, um, but I think it'll make the, the farmers and the machinists too powerful, and we won't be able to uh, bridle them, as it were, and that I don't think we can go that, um, but we'll see. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and have a good one.